what is up gear squad Shane gear here bringing you another video and today i want to talk to you about modern warfare 3 zombies it's pretty funny because i don't know ask me two years ago three years ago four years ago basically back until world at war like back when i was in high school I would never have been a Call of Duty guy. Like I would not have been the guy you go to for Call of Duty information. I played zombies with my friends back in the day for World at War, maybe Black Ops 2. And I really was never into Call of Duty that much. Maybe some people remember back when I was fresh out of college and I was playing Black Ops 3. I played definitely the campaign of that, a little bit of multiplayer, but really I just never dove into Call of Duty and just loved it. But last year, I'm sure some of y'all remember, DMZ came out. It really changed the game for me. I was not a fan of Warzone. I wasn't a fan of Call of Duty in general, but I definitely wasn't like, oh yeah, I definitely need to get on Call of Duty. I need to grind out the camos, none of that stuff. But when DMZ came out, me and shout out to my best friend, Phoenix, we grinded DMZ. We loved it. Shout out to Mex as well. We played a ton of DMZ and we loved it. If you guys don't know what DMZ is, Basically, the, the easiest way I would explain it is an, a nicer, easier Tarkov. At its core, it's an extraction shooter. Basically, you take Call of Duty's bread and butter, amazing gunplay, and you take kind of the giant war zone open map, right? But instead of landing into the war zone and being the last person standing, you start on the map and you're trying to really just get out. <laughs> you don't have to be the first one out. You don't have to be the last one out, but you just want to get out alive. There are tons of different things that you can do in the map. And in, in a sense, it's kind of up to you. Like, what do you want to play for? Do you want to eliminate everybody else on the map? Do you want to uh, go try and solve some mystery, uh, complete a mission, gather some resources? Like, what exactly is the thing that you want to do? It's up to you. And that's what I loved about DMZ. It was kind of up to you on how you wanted to play the game. But it was it was a little scary. You know, you jump into DMZ and, you know, you might play by yourself solo. You might jump in with two other people. So a full fire team, a full squad. Um, and and basically, you got to be careful because even though for unlike unlike PvP solely, there was a lot of PvE involved, a lot of player versus AI enemies, right? Um, you know, in, in DMZ, that it kind of made it special, right? Because you know you could go in, you'd fight some AI enemies. Some of them were like boss level, some of them were just normal level. Some of them had more or less armor on. Some of them had better shots than others, but. What was really scary was when other players were around. You didn't know if they were terrible, if they were friendly, if they were cracked and looking to kill everybody on the map, like you didn't really know. And so there was this intensity of getting into the match and doing whatever it is that you wanted to do and getting out. Anyway, that's neither here nor there because as maybe you've heard, DMZ is locked to Modern Warfare 2, which is very confusing. Warzone is supposed to be a standalone thing for Call of Duty, but it's really not. It's it's really just like this free to play battle royale that is attached to the latest installment into Call of Duty. So Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, it has Warzone. Modern Warfare 3 also has a Warzone coming out. Now that Warzone that you played in Modern Warfare 2, that one's going away and it's being rolled into Modern Warfare 3 and it's still going to be free, but it's on the brand new Modern Warfare 3 engine. So all those changes that they made to the game, how it feels, everybody, I mean, if you, if you haven't seen the reviews yet, for multiplayer generally, I mean, the game feels great. Modern Warfare 3 feels great. All of that is coming into Warzone. It's not coming to DMZ. DMZ is being locked behind Warzone Modern Warfare 2 edition, I guess. It's very confusing if you don't play Call of Duty, and that's one of my biggest issues already with this whole DMZ zombies fiasco. And you're probably wondering like, where is zombies even coming to all this? Well, DMZ is, is locked in the old game. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'm probably not gonna get the new Call of Duty. Not really that interested. I'm really just a DMZ kind of guy. Well, then they introduced zombies. Now I'm not a huge zombie fan. So I don't want you to think that I'm coming to you guys talking to you like, I love zombies. I play zombies every single year. No, I don't, I'm not, that's not me. I don't play zombies all the time. But when my friends want to get down and play some zombies, I'm, I'm, I'm always down. It's always fun. It's a good time. And I like other zombie shooters as well. So like if there are any other zombie shooters like Killing Floor or something like that, I, I like those types of games usually. Any horde mode shooter, I'm, I'm into. So, you know, zombies for me, I was like, okay, well, let's see what they have for zombies this year. And zombies 
everybody's been calling it DM Zombies because it is basically the same exact game. It's DMZ, but instead of having AI enemies, it's a bunch of zombies. And I was interested. I was like, okay, all right, like, let's see how this goes. Now, to be clear, there is only PVE in DM Zombies. Uh, and I am gonna call it DM Zombies because I think that is the perfect name for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. DM Zombies has no PVP, it's only PVE. Now that can be an upside or a downside depending on how you feel about it, but it, it is different in that regard. Also, it's not just zombies. There are missions and areas on the map where there are AI mercenaries. So it's not always just zombies. It is a little bit of a mix there, but there are no players. There's never, uh, you're never gonna be scared that you're gonna get sniped from across the map by someone who just is looking to kill everybody on the map. That's, that's not gonna happen here. So that's the major difference, right? It, between DMZ and DM zombies. So chain here, why are you disappointed? Why do you not like DM zombies? What's the problem? To be clear, especially if you saw my stream the other day, I really liked zombies when I started it. Call of Duty, <laughs> they're good at making their guns feel good. And going in and shooting zombies at the level one space is fun. Even leveling your weapons and, and going into the level two difficulty zone, it feels good. So let's talk about the three major problems that I have. And guys, like I got out the notebook for this. <laughs> so you know it's serious. Number one, my biggest issue with DM Zombies is that it has way less content than DMZ. At some point, DMZ got so full of content and new ideas and changing paths and you could tell that the developers behind DMZ really loved it. They said it was in beta and you could tell they meant it because they were making overarching sweeping changes within DMZ. And with that, they kept adding more and more content, new missions, new objectives, a new purpose. Every time you jumped into the game after a new season had ended, it was like, hey, guess what? We're adding this thing. We're adding new bosses. The reason to go after bosses now is because it'll be easier for you to jump in with these new upgrades. Like there were all these reasons and it was just getting more and more exciting. And DMZ felt like, you know, you could go in and every single day was gonna be different. You know, you could jump in and get sniped immediately. You could jump in, have an amazing game, meet some friends. You could jump in and, and have the fight of your life. You, you have no idea what, what you were gonna expect. And zombies is almost always the same. You're going in and you're leveling your guns and you're trying to find gear for another run to do the same thing again, but maybe to go further in to get schematics to do that again. At some point, you're kind of like, what am I doing again? It almost felt like, they took the first iteration of DMZ, like when it first came out and they were like, hey, let's take that and let's make zombies. Or maybe even they were making zombies based off the first iteration of DMZ while DMZ was still being made. That's what it felt like. It felt like there were two parallel pieces of design of development happening. One was DMZ consistently being worked on while zombies was just being created in its first iteration. And so to me, that's my number one problem as a DMZ player and as a zombies enjoyer, I enjoy zombies, but I am truly a DMZ player first and foremost. Number two, zombies feels like Destiny 2 Patrol. So the reason I'm talking about Destiny 2 is because most people know me for playing Destiny 2. When you jump into Destiny 2 and you go into a patrol zone, there's just a bunch of random AI and there's random patrol missions that you can do. And sure, there's some secrets. There's some little spots where you can go into and they have lost sectors and stuff. But like, you're really there to just level your weapons, finish a side quest or something like that. But you're not spending most of your time in patrol. You're going to patrol because there's something you need to finish up or you want to hang out with your friends. You're just chilling. There's really no reason to be there other than that. Well, that's what zombies feels like all the time. The entire mode of zombies, their PVE experience outside of the campaign is DM zombies. And it's just Destiny 2 Patrol. There is no overarching pushing narrative. There is a mission structure. That mission structure, to be fair, I haven't gotten through a ton of it because it is not that interesting. And it's really not that fun. The story of zombies is also delivered really poorly to me. They're like just constantly talking. There's like a bunch of NPCs that are like constantly talking to each other. While like my friend, me and my friends are trying to figure out what we need to do. And so we're like, wait, what did he say? Like, wait, was that important? And like, sometimes I'll just randomly mention something as if like I was starting a mission, but I wasn't. Or like, hey, the storm's coming in like 10 minutes, get ready. And it's like, I'm good, Like, don't worry about it. Like there's a lot of just noise and it's not presented super well. And then number three, there is absolutely no urgency in zombies. It's really awkward. 
There were so many games where me and Phoenix, we'd jump into zombies and we would do something and we'd feel you know, fun about it. You know, we'd go, oh dude, we got our rarity up and we got pack a punch level one. Let's go for level two. We go for level two and they're like, guys, the storm's coming. You gotta get out of there. And we're like, um, okay, sure, sure. So like, what do you wanna do now? Uh, I guess we just kill more zombies. All right. So we go to zone one and we kill some zombies. Wanna do some missions? Um, yeah, I guess so. Maybe we'll find like an ether tool. Oh, I'm full in ether tools. Yeah, maybe we just leave. Okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So we go on the helicopter leave. Then we get in our next game. Oh, gotta pack a punch again. Gotta level up the rarities again. <laughs> or, or I guess we could bring in the items and, and do that quicker. And then maybe go into the third zone. Oh, but we, we still gotta pack a punch again. So we gotta stay in level one. That trifecta of not enough content, really nothing to do and no pushing urgency to get in or get out. The urgency is a per match basis of trying to get into the deepest part of the game so that you can get into the deepest part of the game again faster. I'm just not a fan of that. So those are my three biggest issues. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that DM Zombies is terrible. It's just disappointing. Could you go in and have a fun time? Yes, definitely. If Phoenix comes up here right now, knocks on my door and says, dude, I really want to shoot some zombies. I'm going to be like, well, okay, sure. Yeah, why not? But why are we really doing it in the long run? We can level weapons whenever we want. It's really my biggest problem. Let's talk about the future of zombies. What would I personally like to see from the future of zombies? Well, number one, it's gotta get to DMZ level content. I need to have reasons to come back into that game. And, and I'm not saying it can't be like for, for similar reasons that already exist in DM Zombies. Like DM Zombies, for example, like I mentioned, the reason you go in is to get stuff so that the next time you go in, it's easier. I don't mind that, but let's add some bosses in the game that sometimes randomly spawn or events in the game that randomly appear. And then you have to complete those things to maybe get, you know, for example, in DMZ, you start with a two armor satchel, right? Instead of a one, right? A one plate, you, you, you spawn with a two plate, things like that, right? Or, or you spawn with multiple plates to be able to slot in instead of having to go find those plates. Like there are small incremental things that you could have us level in the meta game of DM zombies, but right now it's just too far back of a step from DMZ. So if it doesn't start to get more content closer to DMZ, I'm gonna have to be out. Number two, they cannot put pay to win in this game. Some of y'all know DMZ started to get pay to win. And that to me is absurd in a Call of Duty game. And I'm not talking about the like, oh, skins, like, oh, that skin is really thin or that skin is almost translucent. I'm not talking about that. I do think that there's merit to that, the fact that you know, a skin is basically translucent, so it's kind of pay to win. I'm talking about like actual pay to win, like pay for power, like paying to automatically spawn with a self revive, spawning in immediately paid to have a three plate or a two plate, spawning in with a UAV. If they do that, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm not saying I won't play it, but I'll be very upset. If they wanna really dig into their player base and feed off of those people who are going to do that, they're gonna have to give us a lot more content to work on. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a really boring game mode that people are paying to go through fast. And I'm never gonna play that. And the last one, I gotta see a roadmap. So it's not enough to just give us more content. I gotta know, like, what is this gonna look like in the future? Is it worth me coming in and spending my time playing Call of Duty? Because here's the thing, I'm gonna be a DM Zombies main in a multiplayer player second, right? I'm only gonna play multiplayer because I'm tired of DM Zombies, not because that's what I wanna do today. I don't wake up and go, man, I wanna play Call of Duty. I just don't do that. But I do wake up and go, I wanna play DMZ. But now I can't play DMZ because DMZ is locked to the old title with the old system that just doesn't feel as good as Modern Warfare 3. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I have ideas for what they could add and how they can add it into Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. DM Zombies is not a lost cause. It's just a really boring beginning. So I will be making videos on, you know, top three, top five things that I think they could add into DM Zombies. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What could they add to this game mode? Or maybe you love it. Maybe you think it's the best game and you're gonna have a ton of fun with it for the next couple of months, you know, and it's gonna be great. For me, it was fun for about two days and then I got super bored. And so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Again, I'm not saying that this game is terrible. I'm saying that there's a lot of room for growth. I'll see you guys online. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Peace.